Good morning, guys. Still here in the yurt. Just got up, checked the trap lines, had a red fox today, so it was a pretty good day. We only have 11 traps out right now, so we don't have too much stuff. Um, we never got back around to, I talked about in the other video, finishing off that loop. We found a little bit of a way back, but we never finished that out yet. So we are going to get out there, but... Um, not yet it's still it really didn't get too cold yet here in Pennsylvania so we're waiting a little bit for that to happen and then we'll go forward with that plan but otherwise everything's going well so I did have a few questions from some people that I was just talking to about living out of here and what I find about the most difficult and the easiest and um, how do I have time to do this <laughs> so me and the other guys we all do have other stuff going on, so we do have to leave here, of course. We have to work, otherwise we wouldn't be able to afford any of this stuff. Um, so we do come and go as we need to. So that would change the experience a lot if we really had the full time, just to we had to be out of this. But um, what we did make a pack sort of to do was when we're here, we're not um, bringing all kind of other items, food items and stuff like that in. So I would say the most difficult part of, of living like this would be um, if you didn't have any proficiency around hunting or trapping, because that's a huge part of um, what you're going to do. If you, hey, I don't have food, you know, what, what are you going to do? Um, I think to combat that, I know when we're here for an extended couple days, when we get off of work and we're going to be here, and we're not in and out at all, um, I think that in a long-term scenario like this, the best thing that you can do would be, you saw how we brought everything in on a trailer and a side-by-side. -side. Um, I would take five gallon buckets and um, use the Mylar bags inside. I would probably bring four buckets. I would take one, fill it with flour. I would fill one with maybe elbow noodles because they're small type pasta. I would fill one with rice. And then the last bucket I would probably put in um, a lot of dehydrated foods maybe some mountain house, some drink mixes, stuff like that. Also in that bucket, I would probably put, um, depending on how many people are gonna be doing this, daily vitamins. Because I think that would be a big downfall here, uh, not having them vitamins and nutrients from other sources. And really for what, how much stuff we brought in here, it would have been very simple to throw four more five gallon buckets in that trailer and bring them in. We had a lot of room left, so there would be no problem there and then we would just supplement our meat from what we're trapping and what we're hunting and we're actually doing really really well with that since we started this whole thing of trapping and hunting so we haven't had a lack of supply of meat and we've been using most of it when we come here in the evenings to eat or if we're staying um, so that's been working out quite well I just think it's the variety now of course in an extremely long-term scenario you would use up their resources but uh, those four buckets would really get you, I mean, that would, I would say for three guys, you might get four or five months out of that stuff. I mean, if you're rationing it correctly. So, um, I would say that's the most difficult. Easiest is just being in here. This shelter, it's absolutely unbelievable. Watertight, you can't even tell the wind's blowing outside. Um, you have heat, easy and comfortable. So, definitely, this is the easiest part of this whole thing is being in here. This is it's like being in a living room. Um, if there was only one guy, some nights I'm here by myself, probably just the maintenance kind of things. Getting wood, making sure everything's situated, cooking, getting back from hunting, having to soak the fire back up, all that. When there's a couple people, of course, everybody has their own little job. Somebody's doing wood, somebody's getting some food made for everybody, somebody's out hunting. So there's, it's a lot easier with multiple people. But overall, everything's going quite well. Um, I'm going to get a couple videos hopefully today done. Uh, just what we do around here every day. And I have a couple projects that I'm going to be working on. So I'll post them. They might not be in a year um, it itself. But I'll post it somewhere on my YouTube page. So that's about it. I'm going to get out and get some work done. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more episodes, guys.